going on guys back again what's going on guys Jordan Miller your online physique building coach back again with another video today's video is a little less informative and a little more on the storytelling side so I wanted to talk to you guys about the first time that I ever took pre-workout so I'm 23 years old as you may already know um, the first time I took pre-workout I was literally like 13 yeah I was 13 years old and the first pre-workout that I took, and some of you guys that have taken pre-workout before are going to reminisce the first time that you took Inno Explode, and it was like, you drank energy drinks before, right? Like, maybe you'd been drinking energy drinks for a little bit, then you took pre-workout, and it was like, what, what is, like, I'm tingling, and I feel, I, I'm, I feel so good. Back in the day, back when I was younger, when I was 13 years old, pre-workout had so much more stimulants in it, it had so much more things in it that, that amped you up. Really a performance enhancer back when I was younger. When I was 13 years old, pre-workouts did enhance your performance. They really did. Like, literally if you're doing like 185 on bench for like one or two, you might be able to get it for like five if you took NO Explode back in the day, like, cause they had a lot more in it. I'm not gonna go into all the juicy details, but pre-workout back when I was younger was a little different than it is now. There was only a couple of pre-workouts. Back when I was 13, you had you had Inno Explode. Not too long later, um, Jack 3D came out and it had like a lot of good stuff in it. And like these pre-workouts were just crazy. Like they'd make you feel like, and like just, ugh, ugh. They, were, they were really good guys. And so I remember that first time, I used to go to a smaller gym called Ultimate Fitness. First time I walked in the gym on pre-workout and I was just like, this was the best feeling ever. This was literally like the first year I was working out, guys. And so I wasn't, I hadn't put on much muscle yet. I was just starting to kind of get used to the gym. I was just starting to like, I think a lot of us younger guys, we go through that phase where we're just so excited about the gym and it's like life and it's like everything and we're just kind of obsessive. And so you start to get that feeling and, and it has the inno boosters in it and you start to get that really good pump and you're like, oh my God, this stuff makes me feel good. like. Ooh. Well, us guys that started out taking pre-workout when we were younger and it was the good stuff we were we were addicted at an early age to pre-workout and I'm not saying it's a good thing but I'm saying like that's something that happens if you started taking pre-workout when you were younger back in the freaking NO explode and Jack 3D original formula days oh my goodness you probably are never gonna stop pre taking pre-workout because you're always looking for that pre-workout uh, high if you will that that just no pre-workout has anymore compared to like the original NO Explode and the original Jacked 3D. And there's still a lot of good pre-workouts now. There's just so many different pre-workouts out there now. Literally, if you are a social media influencer, you probably have your own pre-workout brand or your own clothing line brand. Pre-workouts are so easy to make now and put it out there. Like every brand has their own pre-workout now as opposed to back in the day, there are only a couple of brands that made their own pre-workouts and it's like only these couple of pre-workout companies would sponsor everybody. And it's now like, you don't need to get a sponsorship, you just make your own pre-workout and just go with it, like, really. Like, there's a pre-workout called, like, Lit. There's a pre-workout called, I don't know, there's a pre-workout called, like, Everything, no. There are probably thousands of pre-workouts now. Remember back when I was younger, there were only, like, three. When I was 13 years old, there were only, like, three. Now there are probably 3,000. For those of you guys that haven't taken pre-workout, let me just say this. If you're just starting getting working out, you're in your first one, two to three years, you don't need it. I would recommend stay off of pre-workout as long as you can because once you start taking pre-workout you, you become reliant on the caffeine it sort of becomes a ritualistic thing to where you just have to have something before you work out like it's a ritual to pop a bottle put some pre-workout shake it up and get in that kind of mind state and get all ready and fire up and get in the car and start the car and sip on pre-workout and you're just like oh yeah it's time to go work out man it's time to go work but like if you haven't done that yet if you haven't taken pre-workout yet and like you just kind of get amped out, amped up on your own, then like why do that? Like why spend the money on pre-workout? Why go and buy all these different things if you don't need them? So for you younger guys especially, and for you people that are just getting into everything, just getting into working out, just getting into diet, just getting into supplementation, all that sort of stuff, you absolutely do not need pre-workout. I know this was a story talking about how amazing it was to me when I was 13, but I was a 13 year old kid. Wait until you're like 16 to 18 before you even think about stuff like that, for God's sakes. Like I was, I was in a, I was abnormal. I was abnormally obsessed. So, you know, I would get my hands on anything that I could that was natural, that wasn't a steroid, that could enhance my performance, help me get bigger, help me get stronger, help me get better abs, all that sort of stuff. And so 
I looked at everything. I looked at the science of this ingredient and that ingredient. And like, literally this was me at 13 years old, guys. At 13 years old, I was this obsessive kid that was obsessively looking at the L-arginine. I was obsessively looking at like citrulline malate. I was looking at all these different little amino acids and different stimulants and saying, well, how is this gonna affect me here? How's this gonna affect me here? How's, that, how's this gonna make my performance better? And all that sort of stuff. Naturally, that evolved me into who I am today. Today. Your online physique building coach, Jordan Miller. But anyways, the point of the whole story is, pre-workout is cool, and like we all have our memories from back when we were younger, back when C4 was really powerful, and back when NO Explode was like one of the first pre-workouts, and back when we took Jack 3D for the first time, and we were like, oh my god, I could bench like 405, then run a marathon, then squat 505, like that's what we were thinking when we took Jack 3D, but in reality, it's like, it helped, but at the same time, Nah, it's not gonna it's not gonna double or triple your strength. Pre-workout is one of those things where it's a stimulant. It's literally just going to the convenience store and getting a monster, but just a little bit more powerful than that. It has a little bit better ingredient, has a little bit more diversity as far as the stimulants go and that sort of stuff. It's really not that big of a deal. The thing is, guys, though, why pre-workout could be better for some of you guys is if if you're going to the gas station and getting a white monster every day before a workout and the white monster is like two fifty to three dollars. You're spending $2.50 to $3. If you get a bucket of pre-workout, typically a serving of pre-workout is only gonna be around like 50 cents a serving. So from someone that works out on a daily basis and wants some sort of energy, from, from that point of view, pre-workout would save you a lot of money in the long term. And that's pretty much the only reason that I take pre-workout is because I, like, I have this ritualistic mindset where I wanna take something sweet, something tasty, some sort of beverage that is low calorie, basically sugar free before my workout. And so it's either gonna be like a monster, a VPX bang, or a pre-workout. And for me, pre-workout, if you get a couple of tubs of pre-workout, and sometimes you alternate between like a white monster, a bang, and pre-workout, you end up spending less total money than you would if you were to buy a monster like every day. Literally, if you bought a monster every day you went to the gym and you went to the gym seven days a week, my God, you'd spend over a hundred dollars a month <laughs> on energy drinks and that is just absolutely ridiculous. To conclude this video guys, you don't need energy drinks, you don't need pre-workout, you don't need any of that. Just go in the gym, kick ass. Once you've been lifting for a while, if it's something that you want to try, but I will tell you, it is a, like these are stimulants, stimulants in energy drinks, stimulants in pre-workouts. Because pre-workouts have more stimulants, they can be even more addicting because you get this feeling in your mind, you get this tingling feeling, you get this focused feeling, and it feels really, really good. And so it, it is really, really addictive. So just know, if you're someone that gets easily addicted to things, once you start pr taking pre-workout, you're, you're probably going to become addicted to it and you're going to feel reliant on it. But I will tell you, even now, I can go to the gym and if I'm not thinking about it, if I forget to take my pre-workout, I don't even feel that much of a difference because I've been taking things like pre-workout and energy drinks for so long that freaking ant just bit my foot. It doesn't really affect me that much anymore. I'm kind of used to the caffeine and the stimulants. Like literally guys, if you are a younger person and you're getting started working out like I was when I was younger and you're all gung-ho about everything, you're thinking about pre-workout and creatine and natural test boosters and all this stuff, you don't need any of that. You really don't need test boosters because if you're a teenager or in your 20s and you're male, you're good there. Like you're absolutely good. As long as you get in the gym, start doing your squat, bench, and deadlift and really building muscle, absolutely not not gonna need any of that. Not gonna need any of that. And for the women that are watching this video, you don't need to go out and spend money on fat burners. You don't have to have whey protein. Like you don't have to have pre-workout. You don't have to have things that like speed you up or make you feel better or any of this stuff. Like there is absolutely no need to buy supplements. Supplements are like the icing on the cake that you could put on there but you absolutely don't need. I like really, other than pre-workout and energy drinks, I don't I don't take anything at all, period, at all. And I don't even need to take those things. If I really, really wanted to put some effort into it and get off of pre-workout and get away from that ritual, which is basically a ritual for me, so it's something that I do every day. So it's something that like I would have to break the cycle of and consciously it'd be irritating me every day because I'm so used to it, but it, it, I could get away from it. It's not that big of a deal. It's just a ritual to my day that I enjoy. Um, there are just certain things I like to do every day and every week that like kind of give me life, make me happy. Like I like my Halo Top ice cream like a couple days a week. I like my little 20 or 30 minutes when I'm in my head kind of warming up to get in the mindset of killing it in the gym and just not thinking about work, not thinking about stress, not thinking about financial issues, none of that good stuff. Like I'm just 
in the mindset, drinking my pre-workout, warming up, getting ready for the gym. That's a ritual for me and that's something that I really, really enjoy. I thought it'd be an interesting sort of story to tell you guys. My first experience with pre-workout, kind of how I used to see pre-workout and supplements and all that sort of stuff and how I see it now as a 23-year-old as opposed to a 13-year-old that was super eager and super obsessive. With that, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please leave me a like. That helps a lot, a lot, a lot. If you know anybody that might benefit from this video, please share the video. And like always, guys, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Make sure that you hit the bell beside the subscribe button so if you want to see my videos every day, you'll actually get notified. Because if you don't hit the bell, you won't get notified. You won't actually see my videos. So, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. All love, I'll see you next time. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this episode and you're ready to take action, you are ready to take action on your fitness goals, go ahead and click the link below and join our fitness group. So this is a group for people that already have a little bit of a basis of how to lift weights. You, you know the form, you know how to execute the lifts, you have a basic knowledge on diet and micronutrients. You are someone that is known to get shit done and you are ready to get shit done right now. You are legitimately ready right now to change your life. This group is not for people that feel sorry for themselves. This group is not for people that sit around and waste time and procrastinate. This group is not for pessimistic people that they don't believe that they can accomplish things. This group is not for people that don't believe that anyone needs coaches, that groups are stupid, and that communities to help you move forward are dumb. Guys, if you wanna join a group where everyone is holding each other accountable, everyone is helping each other move forward, we're just getting things done. Like, we're not procrastinating, we're going after all of our fitness goals right now. Seriously, guys, if you are ready to start taking action right now, then go ahead and click the first link in the description box below. Join in the group and let's get started. And like always guys, if you enjoyed the video, like the video, comment if you have any questions or concerns. I will be sure to answer all of your comments and subscribe to the channel for more if you're not already subscribed. All love. I'll see you guys next time.